Hello. My name is Sharon Good. I have Asperger's syndrome. That makes me what I like to call an Aspie. If I may have your attention for just a couple of minutes, I'd like to clear up a few misconceptions about Aspies. We're everywhere. You probably have at least one or two friends who are Aspies. In fact, for all you know, you might have Asperger's syndrome yourself. Here are a few clues you can look for. If you cringe, when a news reporter uses a redundant phrase like, 10-year anniversary or ADM machine, you might be an Aspie. If you have trouble with public speaking, and your friends say you put pauses in your speech like William Shatner, you might be an Aspie. If people who barely know you, or don't even know you at all, try to tell you what you're really thinking, you might be an Aspie. If you stopped memorizing the value of pi to 30 decimal places, because that's enough to determine the circumference of the observable universe to within the width of a hydrogen atom, you might be an Aspie. If you don't like to use an electronic calculator, because you can do the math faster in your head, you might be an Aspie. If this picture represents your idea of a crowded room, you might be an Aspie. If you can tell me exactly how many trees are out the window to my right, you might be an Aspie. By the way, there are nine. If going into a store with fluorescent lighting is like going into a disco with the strobe light, you might be an Aspie. If you answer the telephone and the person on the other end asks if your roommate is home and you simply answer, yes, you might be an Aspie. If you feel a special connection with figures such as Socrates, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein, you might be an Aspie. If you memorized all the dialogue from that movie you just saw for the first time last night, you might be an Aspie. If you've often been called a nerd, geek, dweeb, doofus, or freak, or anything of that kind, you might be an Aspie. Of course, only a trained professional such as a psychiatrist or a neurologist can make an official diagnosis, but hopefully these tips will help give you a good general idea. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.